All right, man, it's Tuesday morning, August 8th. It's 4.50. It's about 65 degrees down here in the uh, Buffalo River Valley. And uh, I should Buffalo River Trail right here. I ain't never been on it before. At least not this little piece. So, yeah. I'm gonna hike down it a ways and then drop down to the river and come back via the river. Hopefully do a little fishing. I'm always amazed at armadillos. You come across them, they just go about their business. Like you don't even exist. Hey! You! Miniature Porky. Come here. Hey. Come here. Yeah. Come here, boy. Yeah. I don't guess he's gonna come. That's a pretty nice trail so far. Uh, why wouldn't it be? Probably hiked by billions of people a year. Uh, so here's a plan, man woman whatever it's uh less than two miles to where i'm going i'm gonna go until this trail drops down to river river level which is just this side of steel creek and i'm gonna head back up the river do a little fishing they follow the river if I get tired of following the river I can jump on the old river trail I believe it's called and follow it back it stays down at uh, river level this one stays up high this follows a bluff line along up here hadn't got up there yet but All right, a little dry side creek crossing And kind of slowly working uphill. Yeah, pretty much up on top of the bluff line now. So the trail probably stayed pretty level. Got a little overlook here, but I can't see. I think the river's right through the trees. And another little overlook. This one you can actually see down to the river, right there. Yeah, it's, uh, it's uh, around 65 degrees where it was, but I can feel the humidity, but there's no visible fog. There may be some up above somewhere, because uh, Buffalo usually has some fog somewhere. There's a side creek coming in here, and then there's this, uh, about, uh, I'm sticking out here proudly. I got a, a bluff line right there, or a bluff face, and a river. Probably a lot of this up here. As I said before, I have never been on this aspect of this trail so it's all new yeah, it's a pretty cool trail the way it stays along this bluff line most of the time so far no animals come after me They're trying to take me down but uh, you know I'm still early. I'm ready. It's a clear morning. No moon and it is super dark. Turn your light off. Nothing. It's a hint of a sky.
going to peel a little bit and hit a wide section. Looks like an old road. Well, we used to go to somebody's house. Down in here. Maybe. You ever wonder where these bagger lice that land up on your socks and pants and legs? This is the plant they originate on. Cool little creek crossing. This waterfall. And if you're around here when it's moist, lots of little creek crossings and such. One thing odd about this trail, man, I don't recall seeing any blazes anywhere. Which means, you know, I don't know, I could be on the wrong damn trail. I could be going who knows where. On damn blazes. There's gravel on a lot of this trail. Which means they had to bring it in here somehow. There's a lot of it right here. Through the slot, the slot of death. Now, this is an upper bluff line because uh, I'm well above the river, I think. Just look at him. Yeah, starting to head downhill. Pretty close to Steel Creek, which is where I will hit the river. It's 5:40. It's 5:45 right now. Sunrise is officially 6:25, or should I say 6:20? 6:25. Oh my god, it's just gotten really steep and scary. Oh! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, can I make it? Oh, I don't know. There's roots. Roots that you can trip over. Oh, he's... he's oh, and he makes it. Oh, that was close. I wasn't sure there for a minute if I was going to make it. But yes, I made it, damn it. Look at that, man. I guess I'm back to the lower bluff line. I can actually see in the distance out across the valley. Oh, pretty damn good way down. Got some twerplets starting to wake up. Uh, 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 oh. Oh. I'm 
not a hopper whale. Uh, what the hell is this? All of a sudden there's a, a blaze there. I guess because it, uh, it's telling you that this is way down the bluff. It will appear. Without the blaze, I don't know if I would have been able to figure that out. Damn it. Go, twerp, let's go. And leaving the bluff line behind, man. It will be missed. Now, we enter the zone of the river. Even more deadly. Finally down to Steel Creek. Like one camper right there. This is the end of the dirt road. I hit it perfectly. So now, now we must go to the river. And there it is, man. The river. Let's see. Uh, this is downstream. I want to go upstream, I think. Uh, therefore, I want to go this way. There's a little bit of fog up there. The trail I was on was up on the side of that hill up above that bluff somewhere. What's that? Something large living in the woods over there, man. You! You there, boy! Could be some porkies. so cold. Oh. Oh, I don't know if I can do this. Oh. Oh, the water. Oh. I need to find me a beaver stick, man. If only I had brought my ski poles. Ow. <laughs> oh, the rocks. They're hurting me. Yeah, man. Ah, yes. Ah, yes. You know, the water as low as it is, it's, uh, it's not quite clear. Somewhere up there, but and, uh, I forgot that it was that it was that high. Uh, this poo right here looks uh, looks like it could be a little deeper, and I want to wade through. So hard to tell. <clears throat> oh, I do believe the old rubble trail is right up here. I just follow it for a little bit. This looks like it, but I might do it. Right. 
This one's actually got some blazes on it. And they're yellow. And the trail is pretty much a ditch because this trail is uh, used by horses. My favorite. Yep, that pool. Those look kind of crappy. This is not the trail, this is a side trail, but uh, should be able to get down to the river again. It's like a lot of silt in this pool. There's some mollusness on the trail here, like it's rained here recently. I don't know. All right, mine back. To the riverside. It would appear there's a rudimentary campsite here. <clears throat> but they must wonder where you could camp so close to the river. You could easily perish or go to a flash flood where there would be no warning. You'd wake up, and then you'd be gone. Would you not? Well, I don't know what the hell the name of this bluff is. It's a nice one, though. Uh, show on the map. A few months ago, my wife and I paddled through here. It looked quite different. Wish it was, wish it was yes, yes, it did. Quite. Oh, yes. King Fisher. Come back. Come back, Kingfisher. The Daiwa Mini Spin 5000 model. Breaks down at the five pieces. One, two, three, four. Yep, five pieces. Paired with the, the something. Paired with the something real. Paired with it. What a combo. Yes, it really brings in the big ones. And yeah, just look. You can feel its ability. All right, my, my first Lunker style bass. B3, my son.
All right, let's see. We can bring in some more big ones. Upstream some more. Let's see what's up there. One of these pools can be kind of misleading. There's the flow. We got a couple of little twerplets messing around in the water. Well, it looks like we're, what we got here is some porkies. Porky! Porky! Hey! Porky! Come here, Porky! Damn porkies! Right around where them porkies came across. Look at that bushcraft, uh, bushcraft down bark, man. Probably make a whole damn canoe out of that. If I set my mind to it. Porkies! None. Are the parkies? All right, let's see if we can if we can slip. Let's see if we can uh, really bring in the big ones from this pail. Damn you, rooster tail. Damn you to hell. Maybe we should put a gold one on here. Oh, motherfucker. Are you supposed to release? Try that again, see if I can actually release. I guess it's a pretty good place to fish. Scenery's all right. I think better. I need to really bring in the big ones. I bet right now there's a group of porkies watching me. Waiting for the time when I am least alert so that they might take me down hard. But it is not to be. Sir, there you go, my kingfisher. Come on. There he is. He, she, I don't know. All right, man. I'm certain that those caves are filled with lunkers. How could they not be? Oh, indeed. Still quite comfortable out here, 67 degrees.
Oh, the breeze is freshening. I love the smell of a fishy stream. You know, kind of like the smell of the ocean. Fishy. And the farther upstream I go, the more boring it gets, man. Look at that man. Someone's peeking over the ridge. That's real nice. Got a lunker for sure. Well, he ain't fighting with a crap. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. This ain't a lunker. I don't know what he is. I'm gonna get out my twessers. There you go. There, buddy. Yeah, man. Whew. That's a beauty. Ooh. All right, that's uh, that's two two lockers. I think that's the limit. Yep. I think that's the limit for this stretch of the buffalo. Two lockers. But you know, I'm releasing them, so I might catch me a few more. And who knows, man? I might uh, I might catch and cook. Man, catch and cook. Man, that'd be something, wouldn't it? Ain't nothing like catching and cooking. I just really ain't. Come on, man. Give me, give me one more longer. Come on. Get your ass on this up, boy. I don't know. Lunker on that cast. Maybe this. Maybe this will be one. Hell no. Oh. Almost got one there. He went for it. And then he released. Let's see if I can. Uh, there's a couple of them right there. I know one of them wants it. Yeah, you want it. 
You want it, boy? Yeah, you fucker. I didn't want shit. There he is. Bunker. On number three. Yeah. You see what I just caught, boy? You know, learn your lesson. Come on. Get that. Oh, man. I was gonna mount him for sure. I mean, that was, that was mount quality. I know there's another one in this little spot. Hmm. I saw one over. He looked. Look again, boy. Yeah. They wasn't interested. Oh, there's the sun, man. <sighs> yeah, this one's from my wife, Alita. She loves this crap. Mullen. Whew. Yeah, that's a stack of mullen. Is it not? I got something decent. Well, <laughs> I thought I did. Yeah, it's all right. Uh oh, hey, you got it deep. Hang <clears throat> on there, a little buddy. Let's see if I can get that out of there surgically. Come on. I see. Ow. Yeah. I inhale that shit, man. Uh, oh. They squiggled out of my paws. All right, that's four. That's four uh, longer style bass or some sort. All right, man, here's something that I uh, truly enjoy. Knocking over. Me too. See if I could get over and cut that rope down, I'd do that too. I buy them. Buy them. Buy them. I think it's going to be the last bluff. That's a good little swimming hole, man. It's a. Uh, Low as the river is, this uh, this little spot got plenty of water. It gets deeper as you go towards that bluff, or towards that bluff. Small deer just <laughs> bolted across the creek. I missed it. I mean, he was. <laughs> she. Whatever. Well, 
<clears throat> I say goodbye to this last decent blow. And there it is, man, the of a big bridge and beyond a little bridge. That's where I'm at. Well, this is actually the last bluff, but there's a little tiny one. It's 9.30. It's about 74 degrees. And all the places to park, you gotta park right behind me. Oh, that's right, you're from Missouri. I understand now. Off a town, man. I'll do it for a 40.